Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for your career. I'm really excited for this reading. So many of you guys have been asking for it and here it is. So wherever you're at in your career right now, this reading is designed to just give you some word or to uplift you or to encourage you or inspire you. Only take what resonates with you. And remember, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. I'm just gonna be pulling cards and giving you guys the messages. So I want you guys to open up your mind and to go ahead and choose number one, two, or three to receive your message about your career. But first, I'm going to be talking a little bit about career. So there are stages when it comes to your career. After you get out of school, some people choose to go to college to get higher education and then enter into the career world. Other people choose to get out of, you know, elementary school or you know, high school or whatever and go straight into a career. And so some of us have to work in order to survive and to keep a roof over our head, food on our table. Other people don't necessarily have to because there's already wealth in their life or they were born into wealth and that's completely okay. Everybody is on their own path. And I find that even if you are born into wealth, you still, there's still part of you that wants to contribute to society, that wants to do something for a career. And so whatever your situation is, everyone kind of ends up at the same place where you realize that no matter what career industry you wanna go into, no matter what your background, no matter what connections you already have, no matter what situation you're in or not in or whatever, everyone does have to work in order to create a career path that's for them. There's still work that has to go into it. There's still um, some establishing that needs to happen. So it's really up to you when it comes to your career path. Everybody is born with unique talents and gifts. And I find that the most rewarding career path is one where first of all, you enjoy what you're doing and you're able to have fun. <laughs> and then second of all, you're able to share your gifts and talents in a way that really fulfills you and also helps and ups uplifts others, <clears throat> excuse me. And so, the thing that I realize about career is sometimes you can feel kind of bored or stuck in a routine or you get to a point where you realize that what you're doing just is not fulfilling you or is not really including your gifts and talents. And you have to realize that sometimes it's meant to be that you take a certain career path and then you work certain like menial type jobs to learn the basic core skills you need in order to go to the next level in your life. If you don't like your job or you don't like your career, you can change it. I have, you know, you guys know I travel the world. I've made friends with all different types of people from many different backgrounds, all ages, people who've come from war-torn countries or, um, you know, countries where there's not a lot of opportunity. And I've met people who have made the best with their life, who've still found a way to find a way to work and be fulfilled and to be able to receive abundance. And so this requires you to be able to let go of limiting beliefs that because I was born here or because this happened or because my past was like this or my parents were like that or because I was poor, because I'm too privileged or this or that, I can't do this or I could never do this or that or I don't have the right education or whatever. I have heard amazing stories, I've met amazing people who have been able to make it happen. This is an abundant, limitless universe, and if you want something, if you want a certain career path, you can have it, but you do have to be willing to do the work and stick with it. I'll share with you guys my story a little bit. Some of you guys have heard it a couple times on the channel, but I was <laughs> basically a swim teacher starting from age 15. I started working. and. Um, I worked and worked and worked at this job for years and years and I wasn't able to get a college education because of my disabilities and I tried, I did pretty good sometimes in college but it just wasn't for me. And so I thought like this is the best I could do, this is, this is like the only place I can go, this is it for me. And I stayed there for so long but I had dreams, you guys know I had dreams of doing uh, fashion styling and 
maybe working a little bit in the city and making connections and having a different lifestyle and I, I had certain gifts like this that I wanted to share with others. I love um, I love speaking and I love writing and I just for the longest time thought it's only something I'm going to be able to do as a hobby or you know and so I gave up on it for a while but the thing is is that once I finally put myself towards that goal and kept working and kept going towards it and didn't give up on it like it evolved into what my career is today into three different successful businesses and so if it can happen for me I know it could happen for you the first stage is you really need to figure out like a good side job a good side hustle or a good day job so for me this one lesson job was actually pretty good because I was able to move up in that job I got a couple raises I was able to kind of basically support myself and then nights and weekends I was able to work towards my goals of working in the fashion industry and when I got into the fashion industry I did the same thing. I worked and then my time off, I was able to work towards developing this business online. And now that I'm working this job and doing my fashion, I actually have another business that I'm working towards nights and weekends. And so it does take a lot of time and a lot of um, hustle and a lot of focus, but it's great if you pick things that you love and that are fun for you because even the grunt work and the hustle and the time you put in will be fun. It'll feel almost more like a hobby. There's always gonna be parts of the job that's rough and that's frustrating, but you'll learn something from the process. I look back at the swim job I had and I like, for the longest time I thought like, this is so random and how is this gonna go with my fashion and the goals I have for speaking and writing. But funny enough in that job, I learned how to teach. I learned how to be in front of people. I learned how to speak. I learned customer service. I had some really crazy situations happen at this job, you know, working at a community center with so many different types of people. I was able to go through a lot and it taught me so much. And so when I was getting into the fashion industry, being surrounded by so many different types of people and sometimes drama that goes along with working in Los Angeles, I was able to handle it. I had like a thick skin for that and I I wasn't surprised because I had dealt with situations like that before in my previous so-called random uh, work life. And so wherever you're at right now, if you're bagging groceries or you're pouring drinks or you're working with kids or you have an office job or something like that, or you're you know working with the earth or whatever, just know that if you desire something or you want to start a business or you want to get into a different industry, it's possible, but you will have to sacrifice your nights and weekends. And when you have children and family and all that, it's rough, but I have spoken with people who've been able to balance that and make it happen. And so the best thing you can do is choose something that's fun for you to make sure you have a like just a solid day job that supports you. It doesn't have to be your favorite thing ever. Um, and maybe to find a little side hustle like flipping things on eBay or selling crafts on Etsy or maybe doing a little bit of babysitting or nannying or whatever, um, dog walking, <laughs> whatever, to kind of help bring in some extra cash so you can fund like the tools, the resources that you need to get into the new industry or to fund the education or whatever it is. I think the reason a lot of people are afraid to go to the next level in their career or to start a business or go for their dream is because of the time it takes. It's not gonna happen in a year. It's not gonna happen in two years. It might take five or 10 years. I've repeated this a lot on the channel, but it took me 10 years of working for free before I got my first paycheck as a fashion stylist. It took me years of studying the tarot before I got my first um, client for a reading. So I think people give up because it doesn't happen in six months or a year or two years or three years or five years. and you know, if you would just put in an extra year or whatever, don't quit five months or five, you know, weeks or five years before the miracle. That's what it's going to take. If you want something new, if you want to change your career, then it's going to take time. It could take years, but I, my motto is might as well die trying. Like what else are you going to do with your time here? If you choose something that's fun, it's, it's like something fun to do in your time off and it can eventually turn into um, something new. Also when it comes to career think of the lifestyle you want. Some people really enjoy going into an office environment and having you know that off the corner office with the great view and 
being the you know VP or CEO and and uh, or just being the worker and um, being in that team environment some people really like that some people their dream is like to go to New York or to wherever a big city and you know work in the big building and wear the suit or you know wear the outfit and like do the whole thing and, and kind of be like this um, business person some people really dream of like having their own farm and being able to level off the land and be able to have animals and livestock and and plants and be able to you know just work that farm life and and be able to make their living that way some people might like to work at home like me <laughs> some people want to have a job that en enables them to travel by the way I did a, a reading that's called um, LTD 2019 how to create a job that enables you to travel the world just type in rainbow harmony travel and the that reading will come up and if you want a job that helps you travel the world I, write, I talked about everything you need to do in that reading. But anyways, there's so many different lifestyles out there. Maybe some of you guys, your idea of a, a good job is to stay home with the children. <laughs> and you know, raising children is, is a job and is hard work and, and is very fun and rewarding for some people. Um, some people wanna make money on the side at home while they're with their family. And so there's just so many different lifestyles. There's so many different opportunities. We need everybody from all parts of society, from all parts of, you know, going into all different types of jobs and environments to help make this world go round. So whatever your dream is and whatever you're imagining in your career, just know it can happen. And I think that there's opportunities for everyone. And, you know, there's always room for us to grow and there's room for you if, you know, what if every single like famous singer that was out there said, oh, well, there's already so many famous singers and they're all better than me and they're so good. Like, what if Ariana Grande said that? What if she was like, eh, might as well not try because like, you know, I already did okay with my acting and you know, it's, it's, it's not worth it because you know, there's Britney Spears and all these other people that did a better job than me. Like, <laughs> you know, you have to be the one that says me too. Why not me? So that's what I want you guys to ask yourself is like, why not me? Why can't I, you know, do this? Now there's some of you guys that are already really happy in your career and that's great. Maybe you just want a promotion or maybe you're just wanting like a sign that you're in the right spot, you're in the right place and maybe that'll come out in the messages today. But anyways, that's what's kind of on my heart for you guys today. I want you guys to know that when it comes to career, it's like we're always growing, we're always evolving, we're, we're always uh, changing wherever you're at in the process whatever your job is whatever your vision is just know that it's possible and you can make it happen so that's my speech <laughs> and I want you guys to go ahead and choose a number number one number two number three and we're gonna get started with number one if you choose two or three head to the comments below where my lovely subscribers always post the timestamps so we're just opening up to whatever message wants to come out for you today with your career so just pulling some cards, of course, from my Wildwood deck. <laughs> okay, so for those of you guys who choose number one, the first card that I'm getting is the death card. And so this card scares people sometimes because they're like, whoa, that looks crazy. And a lot of times we're very afraid of death, but death, you know, life is a cycle. And so death can actually lead to rebirth. And so this is saying something new is gonna be happening in your career or you're wishing to create something new. And the funny thing is, is this card comes out right next to the new path card. This is like the, the ancestor, like your inner calling. You can see it's like beating this shamanic drum. It's like beckoning you into the forest, beckoning you onto this new path. And so um, I love the Wildwood deck because it, it describes like life and the journey of life as like going through the forest and there's so many different obstacles and things you have to deal with and there's beautiful scenes and you know sometimes you feel like you're lost I mean that's just totally what life is like and so this is saying you're being called into the forest and so you like you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know exactly what path to take it's there's snow on the ground so you're like is this even a good time for me to do this like it, there's a lot of worry and fear when you're being called onto that path um, and so 
I feel like that's kind of where you're at right now. You, you're being called to a new path in your career. You know you want to start something new. It's just a little overwhelming because there's, first of all, so many options. Maybe there's so many things you like to do and so many things you're gifted at. And then also there's the thought of like, just all the little things like, how am I gonna pay my taxes with this new business? Or, you know, is it gonna succeed? What if three years from now it doesn't work? Or what if I don't have the requirements? Or, oh crap, I realize now to get this new job, I have to go back to school. Or it just seems like this really long path. But this is saying, you have to trust in your inner guidance. And you know what's interesting? This card is called the lovers and usually it talks about there being like a love triangle or a difficulty in your love or like letting go of like an old relationship. But in the context of this career reading, I feel like this might um, be saying, let go of like the old beliefs of yourself. Like let go of thinking that you're not good enough or you're not worthy or maybe letting go of like your kind of childhood version of yourself because i think sometimes as adults like we grow up and we have so many more opportunities and so many things we can do and we can create ourselves to be whoever we want to be and we can create whatever path we want to have but sometimes we don't realize that like sometimes i have to remind myself like i'm an adult i can make my own choices <laughs> i think that sometimes like you know when you're little and you're a child and your parents or your caregivers tell you like you can't do that or you're not old enough yet or you're not ready or you haven't graduated or you don't have the requirements or it's you're not allowed to i think those old voices kind of get stuck in our head telling us we're not good enough we're not ready we're not allowed to or it's not time yet or we're not we don't know enough yet like as an adult you can power empower yourself to do anything that you want you can educate yourself you can get educated you can take whatever path you want you can make anything happen and so this is saying let go of like the old beliefs the old thoughts the old tapes in your head that are telling you that you're not ready or that you're not good enough and be willing to commit yourself to this path through taking like little baby steps like this is reminding you like it's okay that you haven't taken this path yet because you're just trying to go with the flow you're just trusting in yourself like it's never good to just leap straight into a job or something or leap straight into something that you don't know about so maybe you do need to kind of research and educate yourself and that's what this is talking about like researching the job you want to do or researching possibilities let's say for instance you're artistic and you're like i want to open an etsy shop well go through etsy and see what kind of shops are successful and see what you're attracted to and kind of look and see like how long certain people have had their profile up and how many sales they've made and kind of figure out like a, a realistic um kind of business plan for yourself and if you don't know how to make a business plan youtube it like it's awesome like i made a business plan by youtubing how to make a business plan and just followed the steps i spent a lot of time on that um i always recommend creating a vision board and that's what then so funny i didn't even know this card was here but i was like oh yeah i need to look at the cards <laughs> and here it is this is talking about having a clear vision having a clear intention of what you want so you can't really start on this new path until you make a decision on what you want. And maybe your fear of, of doing something new is keeping you from it being able to make a clear vision. That's something that distracts us from moving forward. It's easy to just be like, I don't know, I'm still making up my mind and to, to be caught in that path for years versus just committing yourself to something. And so this is saying it's time to really commit yourself to your visions and to your ideas and to do research to figure this out. I remember when I was researching being a fashion stylist, I found all these forums where people who were stylists were writing about their experience and other people that were aspiring to be stylists writing questions. And I found out the, the schools that you could go to for being a stylist. I never went, but I researched um, the coursework and like what they did and like what they were learning and I even found some book recommendations that I got and I read and um, I found like uh, podcasts and uh, YouTube videos and interviews of people who were stylists who didn't go to school and what their path was like and what they did and I just kind of tried to figure out my path. 
based off of like the information I was learning and also just like what my heart was telling me. So maybe this is saying like connect yourself with information of other people who've kind of done, whew, I'm getting really bright. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> connect yourself with information of people who um, are like kind of in the industry you wanna be in or who have taken the career path. If you're looking for switching jobs or switching to like another company or something, research that company, go on glassdoor.com and read reviews of the job. And remember on Glassdoor, on review sites of people who used to have the job that you wanna get, there's always gonna be people complaining and like writing horror stories. Cause obviously when you leave a job, you're not, sometimes you're not always happy about it. So just kind of take that with a grain of salt, but kind of just think about, you know, what that path will be like for you and start envisioning it. This is saying, the main reason you want to move forward is maybe you feel like you're being mistreated in your workplace. Maybe you're feeling like you're being worked like a dog or something and you're just really over feeling taken advantage of in your workplace. Maybe there, there's like it's an unsafe work environment or unhealthy for you. I remember like I eventually left my swim job because I was starting to get some problems with my hips and I was like really exhausted and like my hair and my skin were just like because of the chlorine and I just was so tired and my voice was getting shot like that's why sometimes I still have problems with my voice or I cough or something I don't know if you guys have noticed but like it really was hard on my voice to be like yelling at the kids and not like yelling at them but I had to talk loud because in the pool area it like echoes and so anyways you know maybe you're in a situation where like you are like working in a fast food restaurant or something and you're breaking out all the time and you're like oh my gosh or maybe you're on your feet a lot so your back is hurting your feet are hurting or maybe you're doing labor and working with your body and like you're you're having back problems or you're having to go to the doctor and take all this medicine and for you it's just you're wishing like I just want to live a uh, live a life or do a job where my body isn't hurt so much my body isn't strained so much and so I just feel like this change in direction in your career is like all parts of you like your body needs it your soul needs it your spirit needs it your mind like mentally needs it to to feel more fulfilled and entertained and you know, no matter what job you choose, there's always going to be hard work involved. Like even I love my job, you know, guys know I'm doing fashion, I'm doing this, like I love it, but it's still hard work. Some days I wake up and I'm like, wow, like I'm tired, but I know I have like three readings to do today. So I have to do yoga. I have to meditate. I need to eat healthy. I need to you know, make sure I sleep well. I, I've got to do this. I've got to commit to it. Maybe today I just want to go do some sightseeing, but I need to do this. And I love doing your readings, by the way. But, you know, some days, you know, you, you want to do something else. No matter what kind of job it is, you know, you always have to show up. You, all, you have to commit, you know. There's um, maybe eventually you can find a way to invest your money so you don't have to work at all but even then like you get bored and you still want to work and you still want to have some kind of career so maybe start thinking about what kind of work is fulfilling to you when it comes to this move forward I just feel like there's this message coming out that like you're just like I don't want to work at all ever and like you're working for your retirement but even when you retire you're there's still this part of you that wants to be fulfilled and contribute to society in a way and that wants to make something and that wants to create something. So just think about that. Anyways, I hope this resonates with you. I just feel like the main message here with this set of cards is that you will be leaving your current job behind. Um, you're probably going to start something new. It might require education. Um, you need to set a clear intention. You need to, as soon as you can, as soon as you feel ready to like decide exactly what it is you want, by making a vision board or by, by writing a list, by doing research and commit yourself to taking the little baby steps. Um, the message here is just like commit yourself because this idea has been going around in your head for a while, but like just commit to it because doors will open around you and it's gonna be worth it. So I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number two, I'm pulling your cards right now from my Wildwood deck. 
and we're trying to get you, woo, it's super bright. <laughs> there we go. Getting you a message about your career. Okay, we got your cards. So the first card that's coming out, and this just kind of shot out of the deck, is the passion card. And so I feel like for those of you guys who chose this, you might already be on this path of like working towards your passion. So some of you guys are in school and you're being educated on this or you're in a program or you've kind of already started your thing. Maybe you started a YouTube channel or maybe you have a little online shop going or maybe you're blogging or you're, um, you've started this business or um, you're already working your way up in this company. I feel like you've gotten pretty far on this path. Like you're dedicated. Um, that's not you might want to pick another number because that's really what I'm feeling is like you're very dedicated to this path and you know what it is you want and you know what your what your passion is and you have this big dream for it um, some of you guys are at this point where you might need to think about relocating for your career like I kind of see this vision of somebody who is like very artistic or who has a dream to be like a dancer or something like that. By the way, I know not all of you guys are dancers, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of people here watching this reading, but just let's say theoretically you're like a dancer, but you live in like a really small town. And so maybe you like theoretically, hypothetically, you work at the dance studio and you're known in your town and you do all the performances for Christmas and stuff like that, but like, you have had this dream that you want to be like, you know, a dancer, like, you know, in music videos and stuff like that. Well, you might need to go to towards a bigger city or towards a place where there's more opportunities for dancers. Um, maybe like you do get some money, hypothetically, for your dancing, um, but it doesn't sustain you. So part time you have to work at a restaurant and maybe you want to do this more full time. And so this is talking about relocating, going somewhere where there are more opportunities for you. And that's difficult because it will require you to leave your family or your community behind. Um, so some of you guys want to move out on your own. Some of you guys want to actually like go and take that risk. For some people, it's getting a higher education and, and going, moving to a place where that education is. For some people, it's going abroad. Um, but I do just feel this message like in order to go to the next level with your career, some type of major move is going to be required. Now, not for everyone. For some people, it's like this home situation might be creating sacred space in your home, like clearing out uh, an area in your home to put a nice desk and make a workspace. Or maybe it's difficult for you to work at home. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel or something like that, but it's loud at your home and there's roommates or there's family and there's always something going on. So this might be talking about like getting a little workspace or um, some of you guys are trying to get like an office or something for your business to take it to the next level or even just going out into nature. That's that's what I used to do when I first started my channel. I would go out into nature all the time because back in the day I had roommates and I couldn't really record at my house. So now it's nice and quiet and <laughs> I just kind of like do my readings in here, but I will be going out into nature soon. I know you guys like that. Anyways, it, it's something about a move or like sacred space for you to be able to do this business. Now, it's kind of sad because I see the sun reversed. I see the sun reversed for a lot of you guys and it's like, you're kind of unhappy with where things are right now. Like you wish there were more opportunities and like some of you guys are kind of waiting around for something to happen. Um, it just never feels like it's the right timing for you to make this move forward or to go all out with this passion or you've tried it or you've been doing it for like a year or two but it like it hasn't gone to the next level um a lot of reversals here a lot of delays it seems like that's really getting you down and it's hard for you to find your creative energy and your creative motivation every day it's like you don't feel like you're in the creative space to continue taking the steps to keep the momentum going. So there's a big message here for you with this career. You gotta keep the momentum going. And you know what, sometimes you do gotta have to force yourself. There's a point where you've just gotta go for it. 
and and you got to make time for it I was talking to my partner because he's really trying to get his YouTube channel going and I don't know if you guys have seen it's called Fox astrology and he's doing pretty good with it but he is kind of busy like he does have clients and he also um, writes music and he also like runs the errands for us and cooks for us and and so sometimes just in a day with everything so busy it's hard for him to just be able to stay consistent with his you know this channel he really wants to get going and sometimes he doesn't always feel like in the creative mode but something we were talking about is just like making it happen like set that appointment and make it happen um that is kind of what it takes sometimes and i do that with my painting i'm not always feeling inspired to paint but the more that i paint and the more that i set that appointment with myself to paint sometimes a nice painting comes out or it just gets keeps my juices flowing so that when i am inspired and i am feeling creative i can really take advantage of that energy so this is kind of telling you to make an appointment with yourself. Set a timer and tell yourself to just draw for five minutes if you're trying to do graphic design or you're drawing, or if you're a singer, um, practice singing almost every day. I know sometimes you gotta give your voice a rest, but practice singing every day and make that appointment with yourself. Just be ready, you know. There is really no such thing as luck. Luck is the meeting of your preparation and also being able to take that opportunity. I don't know if that's the right quote I heard. Someone can leave that below. If you know what quote I'm talking about or I'm trying to say, you can leave it in the comments below. But basically, people who get lucky or, or whatever, or get a big break or something, they have been preparing for that their whole life. They've been working for it their whole life, you know? I think sometimes we feel like somehow, randomly someone will just come in our life and give us an opportunity to do that job we want to do or to cast us in that movie or something like someone will just see us walking on the street and be like hey you you should be in that movie <laughs> but the thing is is we got to create our path so this is saying like you need to create your path you need to intentionally be creating momentum and you know what it doesn't always matter exactly what you do it just matters that you're doing something that you're creating momentum that you're moving forward so this is saying like you're going to start feeling more optimistic soon you're going to be feeling like the more that you're putting time into this and the more that you keep going, the more fun you'll start to have with it. There comes a point where when you're dedicating yourself to your career path or to changing your career path, where it becomes just so much part of your life and so much a part of your routine that you just kind of forget about the bigger picture and you just do in the moment. And, and it's amazing what that what that can transform into. So it's a balance of holding a higher vision for yourself, holding a higher vision for your life and for your career, but not getting so focused on that destination that you get so frustrated it hasn't happened yet, that you quit five years or three years or one year before the miracle, that you give up on everything. You know, you gotta keep going. This is same let this career path be like a safe haven for you let it be create a safe space for yourself in this career path to express yourself and to be who you are and remember you can create it to be however you want it to be this is saying stay loyal to yourself stay loyal to your ideas you're already on the right path like this is your destiny i feel like for those of you guys that chose this one you just needed like a message that you're on the right path that you're going in the right direction like that the path you're on is leading you to where you want to go but to continue to stay dedicated just keep going it's just keep going message <laughs> i hope that that resonates with you thank you for coming to my channel and i will see you later peace out so for those of you guys who choose number three we're pulling some cards for you random message anything that comes out regarding your career Okay, I've got your cards. You know what's interesting is when I was kind of pulling the card, oh, here it is. I'm gonna say I saw the bear card flash at me. Um, I got a, a download right then that for you guys who chose number three, networking is gonna be extremely important for you. 
like you've got to reach out because sometimes when you have like a dream or you have a goal in your career the answer can come through another person or through a group of people so you've got to find a way to connect so this might be talking about getting a linkedin profile or updating your linkedin profile or creating social media i know in everybody's career social media doesn't always help you might need to get out there and shake hands and and go to f functions or events um, that are related to your industry and actually meet people uh, person to person that is very important but social media can help and i feel like this is saying like developing your social media is very important for you right now um you're at a place where you're really empowering yourself this is the empowerment card you are really empowering yourself right now in your career and you have an idea and i feel like it has to do with like a promotion or going to the next level um i don't know if a lot of you guys who came here are planning on really switching your career it's just like you kind of have an idea that you want like a different lifestyle so it might be like keeping part of the career but going freelance with it or maybe um starting a side hustle so you can save more or something like that it, it's like something that goes with your career for instance let's say that you're a photographer or something and you work for a business and you go into work every day maybe you're looking into having a situation where you can freelance and do photography for more clients and not actually have to go to each this specific place every day and then maybe on the side you also want to come out with like a clothing line or like um, a, like a line of candles or home decoration or something like that. It's like you have your hand in a couple different businesses or that's kind of your idea is to have a couple different things going to stir the pot. So just know that sometimes in your career, it's not always that you do just one thing. Sometimes we get really hung up that like we have to do one thing. And I think it's important to clarify your decisions and stick with one thing for a while. But for you, I feel like you're getting ready to start something else on the side um, or to expand this career you're already in because this is a card that's saying like there's many opportunities for you like investing in different opportunities for yourself is what's important for you right now and networking is going to be really important for that and so I see balance in your life I feel like you've already achieved a lot in your career I feel like you're in a really great place you just want to make it better you know and it, it's really about your lifestyle because you want more time to have fun <laughs> you want more time for yourself and who doesn't and so this is a reading that's telling you like you're worthy you can totally have more time for yourself um you have good abundance already or there's an energy of abundance around you and this is the injustice card but it's reversed so this is the justice card saying that your idea you have to invest in this other thing or to start a couple different like pot stirring is really good for you and maybe you already started one of these businesses on the side and so here's the horse it's talking about freedom you're on your path to freedom you your freedom financially and like lifestyle wise is going to have a lot to do with your career and your career choices so for you having a couple different things going is going to be important and it's all about networking right now it's like maybe you don't see how your business or your career is going to benefit from the networking or maybe like let's say that you have um a brand you guys know my mind always goes to fashion but let's say you come came out with the line of like scarves and you're like, well, I don't know how I'm gonna like collaborate with people, but maybe you can find designers who are designing clothes and you can collaborate with them and like put scarves on and then they get pictures of the clothes and you guys all kind of work together, or collaborate together or something like that. Or finding like a magazine that you can send like some pieces over for the, the stylist to style or something like that. <laughs> Let's say that um, you are, somebody who does like uh, landscaping with flowers and you're planting all these different flowers and stuff like that and you want to grow your business well maybe you can team up with somebody who's like an architect and hang out with them and find ways for you to like push each other's products because if you're doing the the land work somebody's gonna ask oh do you know anybody who does architecture who can build me 
like a uh, like an addition to my house or something and the architect will be asked oh do you know anybody who can actually do like some like plant a garden or something so teaming up with people who are kind of in your industry or like where your industry kind of goes together will be helpful networking will really help you and so this is saying like you've really empowered yourself um, and and once again starting another business on the side or like you're at a point where it's time to grow the business network and start stirring different pots and start investing in different things so um, the only thing that's holding you back right now is just rest you've already worked so hard in your career the thought of starting another thing or like keeping this new thing going is like really exhausting for you <laughs> and because um, you've already done so much or you have a day job or something that's taking a lot from you but there's a message just keep going like I feel like you just want to cut cords kind of with your old life feeling like you're stuck in the rat race or something and you want to be more open to more opportunities in your career and that's all in the cards for you so I hope that this reading resonates with you thank you so much for coming to my channel if you're interested in a personal reading I have my information in the description and in the comments below if not absolutely no worries I will always have free readings for you guys on this channel every single day so subscribe if you can and I'll see you later peace out